Alright guys, welcome back to some ESO. So I did those crafting missions like I was talking about. Um, and those unlocked writs, which are like daily repeatable crafting quests. I'll uh, go over here and show you them. Or at least where you can get them. Um, so I'm probably going to do some side quests off camera like I said. Um, but so if you go up to these, no not those, if you go up to these. Uh, if you go up to these and they'll have like a thing for each uh, tier and then watch here where's the uh well we'll do one real quick because I should have this stuff for it we'll do the uh the blacksmith one because oh shit the blacksmith one was over here uh we'll do the blacksmith one real quick I also leveled up a couple of times I put it into passive abilities so I put it into passive abilities for um mages guild and for fighters guild wait no i didn't i thought i did what the fuck oh i did it for mages guild i don't know what i did with the other one it's a passive ability somewhere i, I didn't get any new abilities oh that's not true i got cutting dive no that's old no cutting dive i did just get actually yeah i just got cutting dive and I did this frost cloak. I don't know. I did something. I leveled up like three times or something, two times since last video. Um, I also did explore a little bit. Like I wasn't trying to, I was trying to just get these certain flowers and I still didn't fucking find them. But so I didn't explore too much. I just got the way shrines and then um, I did do a world event. Uh, this one I did it on accident. I was just walking around and it activated so I just did it There's a Dell over here, so we might do that um, I did discover that there's nothing over there. It's just an outpost with some people um, There is a town over here with the quest that we're probably gonna do because I have a couple of side quests that popped up So we'll probably do them <laughs> But let's see let's do the blacksmith one. I did not mean to do the clothing one, too. Well, oh well So let's see over here. Move, fucker. So, creation. Oh, how many moonstones do I have? Okay, we're good. So, we're gonna need an iron dagger. See, and you just leave it level one because it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, so, we got iron dagger. We need iron helm. And we need a iron pauldron. So that's done. And then I... Okay, I didn't accidentally activate the clothing one. So then you literally... So these are daily though, so these pop up. I did one of each yesterday except for alchemy. I couldn't find the flower, so I just gave up. Because I looked for the flower for probably like an hour or two. Oh, I also... I did fuck with these campaigns, these uh, online shits. I messed with them a little bit. Um, they're kind of dope. They're like their own, like, thing, though. They're completely different than the rest of this game entirely. But I do like them. They look cool. They seem cool. But yeah, see, so you get this inspiration, which is, like, XP, I guess, for that, uh, class. Or for that, uh, crafting style, whatever. And then you get a crate. And the crates How much is in there? give you, um, a random shipment, it seems like. A random, like, uh... A random resource tied to that class and there to that crafting spec and then um, something that involves that crafting spec like a, like a, in that case it was a uh, weapon in other cases it could be like clothes or potions things like that but yeah so I, I did that um, I didn't do any other side quest I I made sure to stay away from them um, so we gotta finish this quest up because this is for Kanarthi's Roost. And this will probably lead into this area's alliance quest, which we are gonna not do just yet. Over Fair there, day. so fucking I'm annoying too. Watch that, like, town hall. With the queen in town, we have extra security precautions to see to. Where are you traveling from? I've just come from Kanarthi's Roost. Razum Dar sent me. The island was attacked by Marmor. Old Raz sent you, eh? That could complicate things. Thank you for telling me. 
My the fucking queen's enemies are all around so her. Stuffy. Her protectors must be vigilant at all times, and this information will be critical in their calculations. I'll make sure news of the Marma is passed on to the appropriate parties. Don't you worry about that. Now, what's your name? I'll need it for the official My register. My name is Laura of Sy Skyrim. I'll just write that down. By order of the first Oridon Marines, your presence in Valkelgard has been registered. Do your best to stay out of trouble and out of the way. Fare you well. You seem very busy. Is there anything I can do to help? help? No, I don't think so. Actually, my guardsmen are all tied up right now. If you're up to it, perhaps you could look into some things for me. All right, your service. Good. I want you to speak with two members of the Queen's Court, Advisor Norian and Steward Aminwe. They await assistance from the guard. Hands I can't spare just now. Who do you want to speak to first? I'll speak to the advisor. I first. see you prioritize well. You'll find him at a warehouse west of here. Be sure to tell him that I sent you. Once you've finished with both of them, report back to me on the town's upper level. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? We'll wait. We'll come back and talk to her later. Um. So, like I said, we're going to skip that for now. This is going to be our next main quest, but I want to get these antiquities going. So, we got to go to Skyrim. So, that's what we're going to be doing right now, is going over to Skyrim. Just so we can get that tool going, we're not going to do too much there. We might look around, but we're not going to do too much there. I just want to get the, uh, the tool, and then... We'll come back and start doing like the main quest. Um, so Skyrim should be up right here. And this is Solitude Stocks. So now we are traveling to Solid or to well to Skyrim and then in Solitude is where we got to go for the uh, for whatever the tool was called. I don't even know exactly what it was called. And welcome to Skyrim. What the fuck is that? It's a world event. I'm gonna. Fred, I need your help. I'm gonna skip you for now. I need to go up into Solitude, I think. Um, so I can get that that tool. Poor glory is everywhere for some reason. Solitude is discovered. Yeah, I don't know what for glory is. The reach travel? So that's for glory. Battle master. Okay, so that's the battleground shit. So I guess that's just everywhere. We got a stable master, which I do need to fuck with. Got someone. We're gonna do speed again, because we're still slow as fuck. So I'm assuming I just go in, like actually into solitude. I didn't Google this. I probably should have Googled it before even attempting to come here. How big is this area again? It's not too big, huh? It's decent. It's bigger than Canarthi's Roost, at least. Um. Those are friends. There's a house here. Equipment crafting writs. Um, I didn't really think about this before coming here. Banker, grocer, carpenter. The wood might be under carpenter. I don't know what the fuck, where the fuck it would be, or if I need to talk to that fucking guy to get that quest. Um. Is he a vampire? Um. 
shit. There's g guild traders fucking everywhere. This is solitude. This this is solitude. Found the way shrine. He wants help, but I don't know if he's she calling all antiquarians. That seems like where I gotta go. <laughs> Do you have a passion for antiquities? Do ancient Relics set your hearts aflutter. Does your fascination with culture and history keep you up at night? Do you enjoy getting your hands dirty? The antiquarian circle seeks capable scholars, ancient, ancientist, historical naturalist, and explorers for an exciting new opportunity. See the world, recover forgotten relics, solve ancient mysteries, dig things out of the dirt. Interested party should report to Vertra Numinda at the Gilwom North Annex in Solitude. Make your mark in history, join the antiquarian circle. Where the fuck did that say to go? I didn't get a quest for that, right? Oh yeah, I did. There you go. Um do 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 Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. Uh do 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 Ah but what a daily job broker. What the fuck is these guys? Vanish along this time I found some. Oh, those are like, I guess, daily side quests. Oh, it's this way. I wish I could double jump. I keep trying to fucking do it. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck I was playing where I could double jump. But like, in my head, it's like a double jump, and then you know you do like a front flip in the air. I don't know why. Let me guess. You found one of those ridiculous handbills Reginus posted all over town. Gods, it's like we're holding auditions for children's theater. Please understand, this is a serious commitment. You really wish to join the Antiquarian Circle? The University of Gwylem's most prestigious historical society. We scour the continent for lost antiquities, collecting and cataloging as we go. We've made hundreds of discoveries. Thanks in no small part to our scrying tool, the Antiquarian's Eye. An invention of our university's founder, Chirain Fire. It allows the wielder's mind to travel vast distances and find buried relics, truths lost to history. Gazing into the eye requires no small measure of talent. How talented are you, I wonder? Admission to the circle begins easily enough. Just place your hand on the antiquarian's eye. If you possess the aptitude, you will attune to the eye immediately. If you don't possess the aptitude, the eye will reject you. Couldn't be simpler. What can you tell me about the antiquarian's it's eye? It's a magnificent device, alien in origin. As I said before, our university's founder, Chirain Fire, developed it along with countless other scholarly tools. Alas, he died before we could demonstrate the object's true potential. What does it do exactly? It hones in on objects <laughs> of historical Oh my god, I can't equal. fucking breathe. Much like a bloodhound, without all the baying and drooling, of course. <sighs> oh. We still don't fully understand how it determines an item's value. Just more proof of our founder's genius, I suppose. We recovered several from a vault in Elenir. It seems Sage Fire intended for the university's best and brightest to continue his work after he was gone. It took longer than he would have liked, I'm sure. But I fully intend to honor his legacy. We seek the truth above all else. Written histories rarely give an honest accounting of the past, so we go straight to the source. Relics, curios, even ancient bric-a-brac. Anything that can teach us more about the myriad cultures of Tamriel. Oh, I assume you mean commercially valuable? Yes. You can keep any relics you recover and do with them what you will. The Circle's chief concern is cataloging the discoveries and learning what we can from them. Everyone benefits from the arrangement. So I wonder if we can actually make gold by doing this or not. Impressive. We, well, well, well. It seems I underestimated you. 
With a reaction like that, you may well rival Gabrielle, our most accomplished antiquarian. I wonder what secrets you might find gazing through the eye. Let's find out how does it work. In a hurry, are we? We'll teach you to use the eye in due course. First, do you vow to uphold the principles and traditions of the circle, to catalog your discoveries for future generations, and give a true accounting of Tamriel's history? I do. I want to join the antiquarian An circle. An excellent decision. Mastering the eye is no small endeavor. But with Gabriel's tutelage and my rigorous oversight, we may make a true scholar of you yet. Welcome to the circle, antiquarian. Now then, we nope. should begin your... That's All right, it. antiquarian. Are you ready to begin? Nope. I'll come back and do those again more, but we'll, we'll, we'll come back and, you know, do more of that. But who cares? Fire rock. So that's a whole new skill line too? Scrying. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go back. Actually, let's go to Northeast Roost, I think. Hold on. Uh, how do I do this? My brain's breaking. Journal Antiquities. Scryable. All active leads. So... This one, okay, this one does uh, expire, so we want to do that one. I don't know what the difficulty has to do with anything. Um, I, I want Canarthi's Roost, because I think, yeah, we also got one there that expires. So let's go back to Canarthi's Roost. Because um, once we get these two, the Kadarthi Roost ones done, and then the Audelarian, Audarin, or whatever the fuck that place is called, once we get both of those done, then we can do whatever the fuck and do the main story. But I wanted to get both of these because they do expire. That was my big thing. As soon as I saw that Kadarthi's Roost, I was like, damn, I have to fucking get that tool as soon as possible. So now that we have it, we can go ahead and, uh, scry. So there's two of them. There's that one, and then there's this one. For some reason, I can't scry it. Your skill level is not high enough to scry for this antique. Oh shit! Requires antiquarian insight three out of five. Look. Um. Why should you scry? Next upgrade unlocked to scry. So I just have to scry, right? Alright, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I can get that done fast enough, hopefully. So, we'll do this one since we're here. Scrying for Now that you have chosen antiquity to seek, you'll need to scry for its location. Claim facets that are adjacent to the facet you already control, beginning at a large crystal found at the bottom of the eye. Carefully select additional facets to reach the glowing. What the fuck, dude? What? I'm so fucking, like, brain dead. You claim the Faki, these special facets help you narrow your search. Every Faki you claim strikes one false stick site from your map, allowing you to focus your average more effectively. If you do not claim, you can always cry. I'm so fucking confused. So I did that. have two left so I can do that and then I can go here and do that easy suck a dick that's weird that's a weird like mini game all right so then continue it's the, it's a general fucking vicinity are you serious I don't even know what to look for I'm 
assuming there's gonna be a fucking hole in the ground, huh? Or like a fucking just a fucking little like Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Never mind, this is easy. These are super easy. Oh, now that you found Antiquities dig site, you'll need to excavate it without breaking it. Use the antiquarian's eye to locate the object. Then use the provided tools to remove the dirt around it. Um, okay. What the fuck? What am I doing? Here's how near the dirt. I'm so confused right now. What did, what did I just do? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> to begin next phase, you first scry for the antiquity and then locate the exact burial spot. You learn number of actions you can take during excavation, indicated by the intuition meter at the top of the screen, and by the daylight remaining when you when you've used up your limited actions, the dig is over. If you fail to excavate and dig new weather by breaking it or by running on turns, the dig site will disappear. Don't worry though, you can find it again somewhere within the same dig site on your map. Using the grains to auger for it. When you auger the chunk of dirt you select will light up. The bright and greener the light, the closer the when once you've located the antiquity you'll need to uncover it. I'm but I don't get it. Cause I'm, I'm so confused. I, did I fuck myself? What is happening? It's not lighting up green. See, I, oh, I have to hit X. Those both are red. That was blue. I'm, what? Okay, so that's yellow. That's green. This shit doesn't make any sense. Is this even what I'm looking for? Or is it just in a chest? Successfully, it is now used to keep it. After uncovering antiquity, you may be able to search for additional bonus loot if there's any to be found. The current eye can identify and locate bonus loot, so it takes strategically. So, like. I don't think there is any bonus loot. So we got the pipe and then we got ancient fishing rod. Oh, it's gay. 
beautiful piece, someone very meticulously carved this to resemble a winged cat, but still took the time to make it a functioning type pipe, though it's thicker than most modern ones. How the fuck do I get that back? <laughs> I want to sell it, you dick. I'm so confused. It says sell to a merchant, but then it's like... Oh, Can I look for that one? No, I can't. Not high enough. <sighs> what a bitch. Both of these go away after some time, so that's cool, dude. So, supplies. Oh, so I do just have it on me. Okay, I thought it's, it said it sent it to them. So I'm assuming you can get it multiple times. I'm assuming. Yeah. And that's why it's one out of three for the codex. You get it three more times and then you finish the codex, I'm assuming. Unless I'm going to fuck myself by selling it Weapons. and get locked out of... You know, whatever. Um... Hell yeah, dude. 250 for that. Cool. Alright, so let's head back to... Auridin or whatever the fuck. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, we'll just head there because... I don't know where to go. You have been... Yeah, recently recalled. You must pay for me to recall again this soon. Is it free to recall to my house? Those are dominion markings on the hill. It is. Okay. I'll just start recalling to houses then so I don't have to pay money. Well, I guess to this house. I don't have... Oh, I'm going to get that house in the desert, though. I think tomorrow. I think it's May 3rd is when you can get it. So I'll be getting that free desert house tomorrow. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, probably not next episode, but the episode after. Alright, let's get out of here. It's about to be loud as fuck. Oh, I'm in a party, I forgot. I'm like, why isn't everyone fucking screaming? Bind on pickup, bind on pickup. So let's do this one. So let's see, we'll go... We'll go there, and then we'll go... That's so gay, that should have been multiple. Um, do that, I guess. Do that. Oh, this is rough. Do that. And then we'll do that. Do that. Fuck. I fucked myself, dude. Wait, no, I didn't. I could get... Oh, no, I can't. Fuck. If I close it... And then redo it, can I just retry? Yeah, okay. Because I kind of fucked myself. So let me see. So we'll go here first. And then we'll go ahead and go... There. And then we'll go ahead and go there. Then we'll go ahead and go there, there, fuck, there, there, damn, I'm still gonna be one off, what the fuck, no I'm not, suck a dick, <laughs> there you go, so I got all them. So where is it located? If it's super f oh, we're not doing that currently. <laughs> it'll I, I I'm assuming it'll be up there for a while. So, all right, let's go. We need to do this one. Talk to the benefactor. So we'll do this. That'll start the uh, main quest line. So yeah, this for glory quest. I'm probably gonna just do off camera. It seems to be everywhere. Okay, it started. 
Oh, it's just for the battlegrounds. Okay, yeah, I'll do that off camera, and then I'll let you guys know what battlegrounds is, I guess. I should we do it real quick since we're right here? We'll do it real quick. Fuck it. We'll do it real quick. We'll do it real quick. This game is... <laughs> this game's kind of overwhelming, because I kind of just want to do everything all at once. You know? Welcome. You stand amidst the circle of champions. I'm interested. Well then, let's see what you're made of. Participate in one of our games at any of our battlegrounds. Win or lose, doesn't matter. Just get your feet wet. Okay. Do I... So I still talk to you, right? You'll never understand the battle. No? I've already done that. I'm so confused. You'll never understand. Of course. Now, we may have many games. Team death matches. Anyone can claim a cap. Ever the curious one. Oh, okay. So it's it's like normal PvE. How the fuck do I do it? Is it in my menu somewhere? Activity finder, battlegrounds, solo random battleground, group random battleground, the Q group, all game modes for level 10 to 49 players, champion abilities are disabled, team must finish first or second. I would like to do team deathmatch, because I'm ass. So this is an introduction to like normal TDM modes. So that's crazy. So you have like normal PVE game modes, TDM, capture the flag I'm assuming, Dom, uh, Chaos Ball, ah, that could be multiple things. And Crazy King, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming some kind of King of the Hill thing. So you have these, but then you have the uh, campaigns, which are like large scale fucking battles, dude, it's crazy. Um, what, what did we get? Deathmatch, okay, so I just gotta kill shit. I don't have a good damage build, that's the only thing that sucks. That's the only thing that sucks, and this isn't really a damage- That's sick, how did he get that? I might have to fuck with the outfit station after this. I feel like I might have an outfit. Also, how is he an- An Argonian? Ar 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 How's he an Argonian? I thought you couldn't be them. <laughs> or wait, was that? That was an option, huh? So you got, I hope I do. So it's three teams of four. Oh, this map's kind of sick. So it's three teams of four. see someone out in the distance this shit might be actually kind of fun just because it is a fun ass concept come here pussies he saw me and ran Oh my god, I'm doing no damage. I hope he does no damage to me, cause fuck. How do they have 15? Oh my god! I did no damage there. It's talking about what? It's talking about Cryo Dylan. I'm not even playing that. <laughs> not even playing campaigns. I did zero fucking damage. Those guys fucking shredded me, dude. I don't know if they have better builds than me or what. Well, I mean, they probably have a better build than me. I'm not really rocking a good damage fucking build or anything, you know? I'm literally just using what the game's giving me. And skills wise, I'm not even picking like good skills or anything. I'm just using whatever the fuck I feel like using. Guys, we can't play ranged. I don't have a ranged weapon. I have a ranged attack, I guess. Come on, this fucking guy needs to die. He 
He's dead. Let's go. We got one. So one kills 15. That's how they got the fucking... Are my team behind us? Let's go, boys. Who is hitting me? Oh, this is a bad guy. This is the enemy. Yeah! Let's go! We got 30. Fuck yeah. Where'd those other clowns go? Oh shit, what the fuck happened? Enemy team stole the kill? Wait, am I? I'm so confused right now. I got no way of healing myself. These people are rocking potions and shit too. Oh, I don't have any on me. We're doing good though. Now we're getting we're getting points. We're doing better than we're doing at least. Come on, I gotta get back in the shit. Yeah, I don't have. See, I don't have any potions or anything quick slotted. Let me, let me, let me do that real quick. Uh, slotable items. Fuck. Yeah. Oh shit! I meant to assign it. It did not assign it. What the fuck? Oh, you can't swap those in combat. Fuck. What a dumb rule. I'm dead. And I'm dead. <laughs> I died so fast. Yeah, see, they're using potions in combat. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that until right now. I don't think I can still change it. Wait, I might be able to. Let's go. Okay. Hell yeah. I don't know why it's red. I don't know if it gives us all like damage boost because it's PvE, PvP. I mean, they killed us and just dipped or what? What the fuck? They have 195, dude, and the other team's right under us. We gotta start getting kills, boys. We gotta start getting kills. Come on. I'm not doing very good, huh? I don't know. I have zero kills. Oh shit, I'm coming boys. I'm coming. What the fuck is that? I can I, I killed him? They stole it? Are you serious? What is that, dude? Where's my team? They're here with me, right? He's, that's my team? How the fuck did the enemy team steal my kill? I was literally fucking swinging on the guy. Also, everyone's red. All enemy teams are red. Your team killed him. How the fuck did people do that quickly? Oh, I just hit up on the D-pad. I'm fucking stupid. I don't want to chase him. Dude, use it! There's a fucking cooldown. And I'm dead. Holy shit, dude. He just chased me the whole way. Yeah, that orange team's definitely gonna fucking win. <laughs> Did I, wait, do I have a kill though? I still don't have a kill. See, that's crazy. I don't understand how I didn't get that kill. I feel like I deserved it. So those are those potions aren't a cooldown, so I kind of have to watch when the fuck I use those. Like if I'm overwhelmed and I'm going to die, there's no reason to fucking use them. Please leave me alone. I hate the mages. The mages are fucking good. Uh, fuck that, where's my team? 
What is that? I'm just gonna go over here with my team get smoked. As long as we get smoked as a group, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh shit. Come on, boys. Oh shit, no one lets us here with me, it's just me and one other guy. I don't want to go in that red box, I don't know what the fuck it means. Am I fucking stupid? Am I lagging or something? I must be fucking lagging. Oh my god, dude. That potion didn't even do anything. What the fuck? We're at 120. We could still fucking win. Not really, but we could try. This is very hard, but I think it'd be very fun if I had, like, better equipment and, like, a proper fucking build. I'm assuming you can get loadouts in this game. I'm hoping I'm assuming correctly, too. And that guy fucking died. And that guy fucking died. Let's go, baby. Another guy down. Fuck, I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm still in the match. Oh, I fucked that guy up, though. We're still right under him. Right, well, we're still at halfway of them. That's where you've been, like, the entire match is halfway to those guys. I like this. This is fun. And if I get decent rewards from this, I, I mean, I might keep playing this mode. <laughs> this is just deathmatch, too, you know? This is the most uh, basic of the um, modes. The only issue I definitely do have with this game... No. The only issue I definitely have with this game is that you could easily just wait for them to all fuck each other up, go over there, and just kill whoever's the lowest. Like right now, I'm gonna wait until my team's even the fuck over. Oh shit! See, now that my team's over here, I can go and fuck shit up. that mages are very fucking strong dude we're literally staying up halfway of what the top team has oh no we're not we're under the fucking purple team now fuck come on guys we gotta get two more kills it said the only way you get daily rewards is if your team plays first or second so we gotta do that they're going they're only going up no! Fuck that, I'm not going over there. See, cause if I like, if like, if I was a mage right now, I'd just sit up here and fucking spam spells. You know what I mean? But because I'm not... These guys just know how to play this. They're just playing as a team and shit. Okay, I'm dead. Fuck, dude. And I'm dead again. I can't use my thing.
fuck away from me, dude. I'm, I'm you're trying to use the flying mount, or flying attack as much as possible, because it heals me. And I died. But we killed someone, so that's good. We're still way under the other two guys, though. And we're not going up. It's because I'm on the team, and I haven't played this fucking shit. I have zero kills still, and it doesn't even make sense to me. Ah, <sighs> it does I don't get how I only have... Ah, uh, how I have zero kills. What the fuck is that? I, I got immediately got locked in the place. And we did not kill the guy. That's great. Good stuff, boys. See, he used a fucking potion. And I'm dead. I don't even know what the fuck happened right there. But they're about to win. Wait, wind? They're about to win. I think you have to get to 500, it looks like. Which is... I don't even know how many kills that is. Actually, how does that even make sense? You're getting like 15 points per kill. I thought. That's how much everyone went up, right? Wasn't it 15? That doesn't even add up, then. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Man, I'm fucking stupid. Wait, no, it doesn't. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> alright, well, we lost. That's alright. See, 95. That doesn't even make sense. 495? That doesn't make sense. Well, never mind, I guess it's because it keeps stacking. Skill line unlocked assault and support. We got lines. I didn't get to read everything we got. We got a lot of shit. Cool. Leave Battleground. Because I performed horrendously. Okay. What the fuck all did we just... So we got those two skill lines. Which... Ooh, we got two now. I wish I could just force those to go. So we got Assault. Let loose a battle cry, instilling yourself and nearby allies with your resolve. Interesting. Support. Seed Shield. Create a protective spear around your location that reduces damage. Interesting. Interesting. Sound pretty good. Lunar Blessing. Increase your maximum health. Magic and stamina by 355. We'll do that. Um, and then... We'll go up to one hand, and we'll do sword and board. board. Sword and board. Increase your weapon and spell damage by 3%, and the amount of damage you can block by 10%. Uh, I haven't really used blocking either. That that might be another issue. <laughs> but, um, so and then I, so, I don't, I don't know. So we got alliance points for that. That's 7.5k. A rush of battle. The, that's what I like to hear. And we hear. got 2k for doing Excellent it. work. So I got a trophy for doing that. So, are these Stop. not? Yeah. See what? I got seven and a half thousand. But then, oh, those are just consumables, though. Okay, never mind. Materials are actually expensive. Okay, so those are the crafting motifs that let you craft in certain styles. But you need a style for each piece? That's crazy. So then You are guilty of stealing. Oh shit! Price to pay. I didn't mean to do that. While fools They're gonna take my lockpicks that I stole earlier. So these are like swords. Oh, unknown. Okay, so that's like an actual thing I used to lock. Not every like an actual uh, weapon. And then these are furnitures, which those are all fucking shit. So right now I have no reason to spend anything. That's a fun little game mode though. I might play that more just to grind those alliance points a little bit. I think. I'm not sure yet. We gotta go talk to that fuck. Well, actually, 
Actually, I'm going to end the video here. Fuck. Okay. Um, so next episode, we're going to do the main quest. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of episodes like this. Where we're going to start the video trying to do something else. And then we're going to get distracted and do other stuff. <laughs> but that Battlegrounds is fun. I probably will play more of that. And then the scrying I kind of like too. It's weird. It's a little weird little mechanic. But I, I think I enjoy it. But um, so next episode, we are going to be doing the main quest which is to talk to the benefactor so far but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did pl oh shit if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future i'll see you guys very soon in the next one stay safe out there peace out guys